So welcome, uh, Koheu, to the show, and um, it's it's really nice to have you here. This will be the first time we'll talk to a Japanese player from the Western community, so I'm really excited to have you here. So could you maybe just maybe just introduce yourself and uh, what character you play in Arms? My name is Kohei. Kohei to you. Use the character is Ninja. Ninja. Was there any reason for you picking Ninjara as your main character? It's not a very usual character we see up in the high ranks here in the Western community, but it's always nice to see. Uh, to oh, I see. And so, before Arms, was there any other games that you played competitively, or just any anything more than anything else? Hakuto game をやるのは Arms の前に Street Fighter 4 をちょっとやってましたね。You play that competitively? Like in the high level? 友達でやってただけです。友達でやってただけ。Ah, okay. <laughs> And、uh, as for arms tournaments in Japan, are there any online or local tournaments、uh, around now? And like, how often do you have them, basically? ありますね。えっと、月1で開催されてるものと、あと YouTuber の人たちがあの週に1回ぐらい開催している大会があります。That's awesome to hear, actually.、Uh, are, are those tournaments run by Nintendo or are they sponsored by them in any way? ファンの大会ですね、公式じゃなくて。Discord 上、Discord で、えっとまあ、管理者がいて、それでやってるって感じですね。Now, the, these tournaments,、uh, it's been quite a topic here in the Western community about it, whether、uh, default arms or custom arms are allowed. and I was just wondering, kind of like in the Japanese community, is, is it more、uh, default arms allowed or is it、uh, custom arms allowed where you can use, like, change anything between the characters? Ah, I can choose my own arm and get out of the way. I can do it. So they are also allowing custom arms in the local tournaments, then you mean? <laughs> yes, yes. That's very interesting because in the Western community right now, on all the local tournaments, there's only default only as of now because. Um, they can't really handle,、uh, you know, getting all the arms on the consoles and everything set up for the players beforehand. Ah, so なんすか、eh, I don't know. Now this might be a strange question since、uh, custom arms are allowed in all the tournaments in Japan, but、uh, I was just wondering on your thoughts about kind of defaults versus custom arms. Do you think that one is better than the other, or should it only be default? I mean, custom arms. アー,ムアームズの面白いところはそのアームの組み合わせを自分で組み合わせて相手に合わせて選べるところにあると思うのでいろいろアーム選べた方がアームズの面白さっていうのは出るんじゃないかなとは思います。Now, as for Japanese tournaments, is it possible for anyone outside of Japan, like foreigners in this case, to join in and actually play in these tournaments? 一応ルール,ルールでそのダメとかは言われてないんですけど全部進行が日本語なので。多分日本語わかる人じゃないと厳しいかなと思います。トランスレートしてくれる人がいたらできると思うんですけど、なんかキャットファイトさんかな、キャットファイトさんっていうユーザーの方がなんか参加しようとしてましたね。So if someone outside of Japan would would like to join the, these Japanese tournaments, how would you recommend them to do that? Would they have to use a translator or like anything similar to that? まあ、なんか英語がわかるプレイヤーに連絡する。まあ、僕がちょっと多少は英語ができるので、僕に返してきる時があればしたいって感じですかね。はい、こっち側に英語喋れる人がいないんですよね、日本人で。<笑>そこが問題。Okay, so basically you would have to need some sort of、uh, a bit of Japanese before getting into that. But、uh, have you, seeing as you speak a bit of English yourself, have you been、uh, Attending to any Western、um, tournaments yourself or anything online? Yeah, nice. Reach for the Sky っていうのに参加しようと思ったんですけど、なんか気づいたら終わってた。<laughs> yeah, I believe that tournament in particular had a max limit of 32 players. But are there any other tournaments、uh, or would you like to join any other、uh, Western tournaments in the future? Yeah, めっちゃするつもりですね。<laughs> That, that's really good to hear because right now in the foreign, uh, foreign uh, arms community, we have no idea how to talk to the Japanese community. Everyone wants to talk to the Japanese community, but no one knows how. We want to talk to <laughs> arms player. But that, that's good because、uh, right now, this is like one thing how to do it. I want to make this、uh, interview so 
can uh, start to communicate. Mm-hmm. And that actually leads me up to my next question, which is, well, uh, how, how do we actually get together these two communities of the Japanese and the Western one? Do you have any suggestions on how we can do it? Like any Twitter accounts we can follow or perhaps is there like a Japanese arms discord or? And it's okay for foreigners to join this Discord? Maybe maybe we could make like a channel that is just for kind of foreigners foreigners welcome channel. Oh, so easy. So Evo Japan got announced about a month ago. Uh, are you are you excited about the tournament or how how is the Japanese arms community thinking about the tournament? Ah, hi. And also kind of like a follow-up question. Uh, what do you think uh, like this means for arms to have Evo Japan? Like do you think it will help the arms community kind of thing? なんか多分ガチでやるプレイヤーが増えるんじゃないですかね。プロプレイヤーが参加するんじゃないかってみんなワクワクしてますね。エボでストリートファイター5でこの前日本人で久しぶりに優勝した時戸さんって人がいるん